Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this popular halftone effect in After Effects. So to create a look like this, you want to start with a picture like this that has pretty high contrast because what a halftone effect is, is basically a lot of dots and based on how dark or how light the section of the picture is, is how big or how small the dot or the circle is. And the way I've done this is, is a little bit of a hack. There's a few different ways of doing this in After Effects. And there's a link in the description to one of Rich Young's AE roundups that talks all about halftone and how to create them. And there's a few different examples. And I thought I would add another way of doing that because as I've always said, there's always more than one way of doing anything in After Effects. And the more you know about the different ways, you know, it may apply differently to your situation. So how I'm going to do this um, is with a camera lens blur. And let me show you how to do that. First, let's go ahead and pre-compose this. Go ahead, let's move everything over. And I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to call this one black and white pick. Let's go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to take this. Let's add a color correction. Let's tint it. And then let's go to Effect, Channel, and Invert. Okay. Now I need to bring in my layer of dots. So let's grab my Ellipse tool. And I'm going to just draw a shape layer right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this background picture. And I'm going to go into the ellipse content. Let's go to the path and let's make this really small. Let's go 10 by 10. Let's make sure it's centered. Let's take a look at that. And that's about how small I want it. So now we need to come in and add a repeater to this. So let's add a repeater. repeat it all the way across and let's maybe have them a little bit closer together and I might want to actually come in here and bring this down let's try five have them pretty fairly sh small okay so I've got it at five and 34 for the position now let's come in here I'm gonna duplicate this repeater let's take that to zero and let's go with 34 right here so basically I want to create this kind of a grid and I can come in here and make some adjustments later on this but before I do I, I did realize that this is set to white and I want this set to black okay let's go in and create a new solid layer just make it white this will be our background so we can kind of see what's going on so now I want to add a blur to this, just to this shape layer. And what I'm going to do is go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Camera Lens Blur. And everything's going to get blurry. Now I need to use this black and white pick as the blur map for this lens blur. But I'm going to need to pre-compose it first because I had tinted it and inverted it. And so I need to pre-compose this. So Command-Shift-C, put it in a new comp, make sure we move all the attributes across. And then I can come up here to this blur map on these dots. Let's set that to the black and white pick comp. And you can start to see things are starting to get blurry in the right spots. But how do I make this look more like dots, not just blurry dots? Is I'm going to need to add an adjustment layer. Go to effect, color correction, levels, and you can see as I crush these blacks, start to bring in kind of that halftone look. And it's not going to be perfect, but it's a quick, it almost looks like a photocopy feel. It's uh, got a nice roughness to it. And if I want to change this up a little bit, let's see, I can add more blur to this and that's going to make those, those dots look bigger. I can come in to the shape layer. Let's go into the repeater. 
let's set this to 20 and you can see that's starting to kind of look really cool so lots of things you can do with this but this is just how to create kind of this halftone look now I do want you to know that this is all animatable so if I come into this main comp here and if I keyframe this or if this was video let's keyframe the scale come back in here it's going to everything's going to come across it's all dynamic that way so this is my take on halftone let me go ahead and fix this I've got these uh, repeaters not quite how I want them okay so here is my take on how to do a, a quick halftone effect there's some other ones out there that are probably uh, maybe better uh, you know a lot more control but this one's really fast and it's got a kind of a unique style of its own so I hope you learned a lot if you have any questions or if you have any requests for different tutorials just put them down in the comments below and I'll love to get to them and it, hopefully it's something I can answer for you but if it's about this effect um, I should be able to answer it since I just did this tutorial and if I didn't explain something properly go ahead and just ask me and I'll, I'll help you out so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time